Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I was the only person who knew how bad things were? Oh, frick, how do I... I don't... Oh, I don't know. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? What? Ever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident. And I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. Ugh. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation. I'd like to my yell at all of them. Me, but I think I can use my power again. I, I want to yell at all of them. Like, all of them. Because <sighs> they're both responsible. But Nathan is primarily what needs to be said here let's go ahead and rewind just because i'm very curious as to what the other statements would be i basically just want to hear the other two get yelled at so let's try jefferson I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You Shut asked. up. <laughs> she didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at mm, the Everyday no. Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. 
And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. I really just want to, like, really all of them. I don't want to pick one. I want to do all of them. But really, Nathan should, should be the one getting punished here. All right, let's see what, what this one does. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, falsely accusing other people seems to be a habit with you. Mm. I trust my security officer. Oh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend oh. you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. Yeah, I think, I think, given the, the, the joint, that, that would have gone differently. All right, back to accusing Nathan. Oh, I broke it. Okay. <laughs> well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. He stole a scratch on his face. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Oh. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather uh. confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.
Oh. Oh, Victoria. She's where she needs to be right now. Not going to show us anything else. Oh. So she, yeah, Kate. She is connected to Rachel. You told Kate to go to the police. Okay, so most people didn't told her to wait, but I felt like that's what she needed. You answered Kate's call. Most people did that. Oh, you tried to shoot Frank slash you didn't try to shoot Frank. About almost half. Ooh, 44%? Jeez. Couldn't, couldn't. I do wonder, like, how much of that is people going back through to see how this story changes if she's not in it. Yeah, most people blame Nathan. Uh, some people blame Jefferson and David. Nathan's definitely the person to blame. You didn't water your plant. Okay, most people watered it. You helped Alyssa. Half and half. But it was pretty easy to miss, so I could see people not. You erased the link to Kate's video. Most people did that. You were friendly with Taylor. Most people weren't. You rejected Warren's invitation. Most people accepted. But after hearing what he said about Brooke, there was no way. You wrote a message. That's about half and half. You tampered with the rail tracks. You didn't tamper with the rail tracks. So yeah, I damaged them, and apparently there was a way to do that better. You gained entry to the Vorklops Vortex Club Party. And that's also about half and half. You helped Warren half and half. It's not obvious what you have to do. Like, you think you figured it out, so. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson. You didn't tell on David to Mr. Jefferson. Most people did. Okay. Chaos theory. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. They called film little pieces of time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick she is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, 
It's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. fell asleep. Oh, she has Kate's rabbit. Something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. But we're gonna look around the room first and say hi to the bunny. Hey, bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Nom nom. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. No, weird and stuff all is going on. Are leading to my tornado vision. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today, with most of the student and faculty as startled witnesses. Authorities confirm that the student Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. Over 13 years. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. <laughs> I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. It if will she does. soon. You're in our hearts thinking about you. We're all behind you. Hope you feel better. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Epic. Way to make headlines, Max. You're a hero. Watching you walk down with Kate from that roof was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Max power. Bravo, Max. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. 
This has to end. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Why do you still have it just lying on your desk, girl? See, it's brown now. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need... <sighs> okay, it's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Well, this would be so different otherwise. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. All right, let's see what we got in here. Speaking of expectations, David Madison stopped to talk to me without being a total prick. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little, and for the first time, I felt kind of sorry for David. He is a veteran. I know he probably saw awful things in combat. He said he doesn't want to fight with Chloe or me, but all the shit he's pulled and treating Kate like she's a suspect just makes it hard to get along, but I promise to try for world peace. Something odd happened, as if everything happening isn't bizarre, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson. She ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, oh, by the way, what's up with Kate? Like, he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something. So what did he say to make her so upset? He talked about, like, he was trying to help, but that whole conversation... You know, he's like, stop playing the victim and stop being so brittle. Like, that's not helping at all. You're just taking her concerns and you're ignoring them. And you're putting the blame on her. Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walk into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk. Unreal. Asshole bookends. Kate Marsh almost killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I saw her actually jump, but I was just about able to use my rewind power to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I ever did, and somehow I stopped time completely. I made it to the roof, but again, my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try and talk her down on my own. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. You see, movies with people trying to talk somebody out of suicide, it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. I covered everything I could and Kate almost jumped anyway. Cliché or not, I told her how much her friends and family love her, even if they don't show it now. Lo and behold, Kate stepped back from the ledge alive. I almost cried in her arms. I know this isn't about me, though I have to admit, it was an amazing feeling to walk arm in arm with Kate from the roof to outside the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police were watching us, almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling out, give it up for Max, and everybody started to clap and cheer. Talk about surreal, the people who ignored me or treated me like crap suddenly crushing on me. That might be the strangest thing that's happened to me this insane week. And that made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her just to get in her smug face for enabling Kate's suicide attempt. Such cruel bullshit. Though to be fair, Victoria wasn't the only one that was responsible. Nathan Prescott seemed to have disappeared, which was probably a good thing. And after all that, I still had to talk to the police and give a statement. It felt so weird to do, since I've seen it pretty much every police procedural show. I had to lie my ass off when he questioned me about the other students. I just don't think the police are ever going to find out what happened. Yes, this looks like a job for Supermax. Right, though, of course. I do love it when Chloe calls me that, even if I don't feel that every day heroic for helping Kate down. Maybe it's wrong for me to think I have to feel anything but grateful that Kate didn't jump. What was really odd was when all the students and faculty staff surrounded me and Kate and then started patting our backs and shoulders like we were heroes. Wasn't sure how to respond considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because of everybody at school, but like I said, I can't blame everybody. I still don't really know where to point all my fingers. The very best thing was that even though Kate was still in tears and confused, I definitely saw her smile once she realized how happy everybody was that she was alive. I smiled too. 
The police and paramedics swooped in, and then Kate was covered in a blanket and gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at me like I was a hero. I guess they're used to saving people without applause. But if I'm super honest, it felt pretty cool, like I got a hug from the whole school. So maybe Blackwell Academy isn't totally bad. It's not enough that Kate is alive, and though I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit, I still had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madison, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. I was quiet but giddy inside, just replaying in my head the moment when Kate stepped toward me with a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk, knowing he had a lot to do with Kate's suicide attempt. I thought about doing it, then flipping a quick rewind, but I knew that would be the start of a bad, dangerous habit. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what happened in the bathroom. He must have more shit on Nathan because otherwise I doubt this would happen to a Prescott. At some small justice for Kate, there'll be more if it's the last thing I do, which it could be if I'm not careful. After being grilled in the principal's den, I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart, he kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did, but I have to say it's better to be treated like a hero at school than a twee loser. Still, I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel, Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims. Not to mention me, but I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have let Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time. As if anything is the right time anymore. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? Wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. No, Chloe, I do not wish that and neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? Sorry about Kate. Hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. Yo, Supermax, how's the Blackwell hero doing? The hero is still shaking with nerves. And I even got Nathan Prescott suspended. You're a boss, but no emoji. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwall. It's time for us to put the pieces together, cool? I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. Warren. Yo, yo, Max. Just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer, cool? And I'd love to reward you with dinner. Oh god, Warren. Warren! <sighs> An escape to Planet of the Apes. No pressure, truly. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended too, so it was a good day. I'll call you later, okay? Warren, <laughs> he tries so hard. Hey, whore feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Okay. Hey honey, I hope you don't forget to water your plant. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We're so proud of you for saving this girl. And we want to know how you are, so please get in touch. We love you. Sorry mom, I'll call you back in a few minutes, I swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our black wall hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. This is disturbing. Yes, I have power, but... Nathan is out of control. I think that's in response to Nathan's text. Let's go. It's so dark. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Oh, Kate's room is taped off. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. 
So much hypocrite. Get well soon. I'm sorry, Kate. I hope you get better soon. We miss you. Get well soon. Feel better soon. Blackwell is praying for you. Wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. We'll wait for Kate. Brooke. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. The end of the world might be coming before your party. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Oh. Shower's open. Still out of order. Hi. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Blaming her is not gonna make her... People tend to resist blame. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Ugh, do I care where she went? I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Hmm. Talk to you later. Two of you have more in common than you think. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. Mm. Jeez, Taylor actually seems concerned about Kate. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. I bet you'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. Can I get into her room? Oh shit, I can. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing right now? I have to meet up with Chloe. Well, frick. I don't know if I've done this before. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Victoria is about as street as me, but she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right, thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Mmm. Unique point of view, well-researched essay. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. I'm sure she has something important on her laptop, but I'm just gonna check everywhere else first. Those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. <laughs> I can't remember what all we looked at last time we were here. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Mm. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. 
you would think that video would, you know, if you had somebody who was knowledge about like a medical professional or something about how people act when they're on drugs, you would think someone would be able to point out like, hey, no, this girl's actually. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. <laughs> this girl has actually been drugged. What's that? You have a little glow in the dark figure of something I don't know, but if you know what that's a reference to, I would like to know. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. 30 bucks. Victoria's secret. Oh, she's a geek. Glow in the dark blueberry. Still don't know what it is, but there you go. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off the roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like, everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. What a trip that was today, seeing Max and Kate like that. I need to drink too. Let me know the time. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. That Twimo bitch Max Cockfield got me fucking sus suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on. You in? Cheers, Prescott. From Victoria. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That's bullshit. No way can Blackwell... Suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time. I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble, and yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell. No matter what, I'll message you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. Yeah, I don't know if that's dirt. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Better hope nobody sees you coming back out. Okay. <laughs> Every street. Did I look at that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, hold on. Waiting for you, Kate, Juliet. Waiting for you, Kate. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. You okay? That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. This is both sad and pathetic. Yep, still still there. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Should I look at this? Dana clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her life. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know... That you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish she had more friends like you. You've been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up, and I'm here for you always. Miss you, Trev. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof and feel like I should have done more to help you. Max did more than anybody to save Kate, and I don't even think they're best friends forever. So happy you're thinking about me. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. You're just as good for me as I think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Dan, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer a few short questions. Seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk 
when it's convenient for you, okay? I hope you will. Hi, Juliet. I know you want to find out more about Kate, and I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened. Maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. I, I can't even... I have not played the version where Kate doesn't make it. And I'm not going to. <laughs> um, but I imagine all of this is very different. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. <sighs> mm. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Yeah. <sighs> That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. Oops. <laughs> I have a fucking headache now. So please, let me crash. All right, that was bad. That was bad. Hey, Dana. Better than... Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Okay, then I probably have gone into Victoria's room before. Because Dana would have... Dana would have told me if I didn't- I thought I didn't go into the bathroom before. Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Praying for a fast recovery, Kate. 